Threnody for a Brown Girl by County Cullen. Weep not, you who love her. What rebellious flow, grief undammed, shall recover whom the gods bid go? Sorrow rising like a wall, bitter, blasphemous. What avails it to recall beauty back to us? Think not this grave shall keep her, this marriage bed confine. Death may dig it deep and deeper, she shall climb it like a vine. Body that was quick and sentient, dear as thought or speech, death could not, with one trenchant blow, snatch out of reach. She is nearer than the word wasted on her now, nearer than the swaying bird on its rhythmic bough. Only where a faith as much as a mustard seed, aching, hungry hands might touch her as they touch a reed. Life, who has not loth to trade her unto death, has done better than he planned, has made her wise as Solomon. Now she knows the why and wherefore, troublous whence and whither, why men strive and sweat and care for bays that droop and wither. All the stars she knows by name, end and origin thereof, knows if love be kin to shame, if shame be less than love. What was crooked now is straight, what was rough is plain. Grief and sorrow have no weight now to cause her pain. One to her are flame and frost, silence is her singing lark. We alone are children, lost, crying in the dark. Buried features now, and form change has bred upon her. Crush no bug or nauseous worm, lest you tread upon her. Pluck no flower lest she scream, bruise no slender reed, lest it prove more than it seem, lest she groan and bleed. More than ever trust your brother, read him golden, pure. It may be she finds no other house so safe and sure. Set no poet carving rhymes to make her laugh, only live hearts starving need an epitaph. Lay upon her no white stone from a foreign quarry. Earth and sky, be these alone her obituary. Swift as startled fawn or swallow, silence all her sound. She has fled, we cannot follow further than this mound. We who take the beaten track, trying to appease hearts near breaking with their lack, we need elegy. Frederick Douglass by Robert Hayden. When it is finally ours, this freedom, this liberty, this beautiful and terrible thing, needful to man as air, usable as earth, when it belongs at last to all, when it is truly instinct, brain matter, diastole, systole, reflex action, when it is finally won, when it is more than the gaudy mumbo jumbo politicians, this man, this Douglas, this former slave, this Negro beaten to his knees, exiled, visioning a world where none is lonely, none hunted, alien. This man, superb in love and logic, this man shall be remembered. Oh, not with statues rhetoric, not with legends and poems and wreaths of bronze alone, but with the lives grown out of his life, the lives fleshing his dream of the beautiful, needful thing. Little Black Boy Heads by Erica Dawson. Up at the top there lies a cowlick I just got to wrap my finger in, but can't. Their cuckabucks clip down to the root, can't pry one strand loose with a pick. Though I could plant a kiss, perfect, on their round scalp short threads like splinters on my lips. I'd rather feel a field with a thousand little black boy heads, ascend a white oak high and stare until their shorn calyx appear to swirl. No hair would move, then one by one the heads would tease with growing spirals, hypnotized like air embodied branches braced for lift off. Please, you stubborn noggins, take your hats off. Some day when I have my own, I'll pawn his skull and he will nap against my nipple, thumb in his soft spots. 
I'll sing of how I call him from the black field bound beneath the sky bright blue, and sun so yellow the whole span splays green. His always girl, I'll sing him, fly, boy, fly, then run away fast as you can.